Hello everybody, welcome to Survival Russia. Today we're going to take a look at the Mora Bushcraft Survival. After three years of ownership, is it a good survival knife? Is it a survival knife at all? I'll tell you all about it later. But take a look here. There's some nice healthy bear tracks from a not particularly small bear. Not huge either, but bears bear. <laughs> Hang on, and uh, let's take a look at the Mora. Mora, Mora, Mora Bushcraft Survival. Made in Sweden. So after three years of owning this knife, I will uh, give you the ups and downs on it, positives and negatives, and uh, fastly give you my personal verdict of uh, this Mora Bushcraft Survival. So good things about it is it has a ferro rod here. I secured it a little bit with a ranger bender, what you call it. There's a sharpening stone, not very big, it's here, it's also behind some uh, mountain bike in a tube. And the uh, grip is pretty nice, the spine here is really awesome for striking a ferro rod and so on. It's good for cleaning fish, it can skin, it can cut rope and cordage and so on, and, and uh, it's just fine for lighter tasks, you can see it's not very thick. About two and a half millimeters, I think. Another good thing is, of course, it can get very, very sharp. That's always a plus. But we sort of like move into the negatives here. It's a scanty grind, and uh, it doesn't like any other. It doesn't really like any other tasks than wood, skinning, cutting fish, and so on. As soon as you start to use this knife for anything else than that. Uh, it's just gonna roll, and it's just how it is. Now the negative is, it's a three-quarter tang, it's a plastic handle. So fastly you can say, yeah, it's a decent bushcrafting knife or light task knife. The scanty grind here, if you have to open cans, cut wires, cables, whatever, survival task, you know, uh, is not gonna hold. Here's my knife, the Clanton Marine. My buddy Aaron, who made it in the States. This is an awesome knife, made from a old file, actually. It's a normal 20 degree edge. And uh, this I have cut lots of cans, cable, wire, and so on. Of course, it needs a sharpening now and then, but this edge is gonna stand up to it. Well, this is not. I mean, I can try and put in some pictures. I try to make some macros here of the edge of this because, I mean, out here, I cannot even cut myself on it. <laughs> That's just from opening a few cans with it. I mean, the edge is rolled left and right, and it's just how it is. More or less a fine bushcrafting knife, but as a last ditch tool, it's really, really bad. <laughs> Look at the differences on these two. And it's a full tang and everything, so. This is not gonna break anytime soon, where I will not say this is necessarily not gonna break. Also, you can say like, yeah, I'm Danish and uh, any Dane who have been a Boy Scout, of course, knows Mora. So for me, uh, most Moras, they will, there will always be a Boy Scout knife. Nothing wrong with that. It's not a heavy duty use knife, that's for sure. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching this short review and uh, as always, get out and train, get it done. See you next time in Russia.